Hello everybody, I am just Nance and, I do, and I'm happy to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, I've been gone a while, I've been having some issues with my back, which, well, I'll get into that during the shave. Um, and past few weeks or a month or so, I've been dealing with uh, an old shoulder injury flaring up and it's finally simmering down. So, I figured time to do a video. Anyways, let's take a look at what we're using. The razor is going to be, pretty much this is going to be an all Phoenix uh, uh, artisan accoutrement shave. And the razor I'm using is the, Phoenix, is the PAA Symmetry Open Comb with a Gillette Silver Blue on its third use. The brush really love this brush it's one of um one of the paa brushes i really like it and it is the peregrino it's got the same knot in it that the starcraft brush has which is the roswell gray roswell synth brush and the soap is one that has been made by Douglas for quite a while, but I received it a few years, a couple of years back from Dennis in one of the packages he sent me, and it is PA Irma Shave. It's got a really nice, pleasant scent. Not sure what the scent notes are, but I like the scent. And we'll be whipping it up in my black and silver lather bowl that I got from my brother Curtis and the aftershave unfortunately is not a PAA aftershave but it is one by Uncle John that I like so let's get this brush wet I hope everybody's been doing well anyways I'm gonna cut away for a minute and I'm gonna lip the uh, not lip, whip this lather up, soap up into a lather I'll be back all right, guys, got whipped up in a lather. We're going to get the face wet. And go ahead and got a little bit of soap on the handle of my brush. There we go. All right. The soap whipped up into a very nice creamy lather. And this is one of Douglas's old, old bases. I'm pretty sure. Because I saw Irma Shave on his website early, early on in my uh, wet shaving journey. Anyways, guys, gotten some new subscribers to mention. Um, El Shaves, Molly Shaves, um, Barba Traditional, and I think that's it. There might be one or two others I just can't remember. So I'll go ahead while I'm editing the video. I'll look and see if by chance that I got notifications of anybody else. But anyway. Wet the, breath, wet the razor. First pass with the grain. Yeah, I went to my. And this symmetry open comb is just slicing through. Anyways, I go to my pain management. And um, they sent me out for an MRI. And. Uh, The doc didn't, wasn't real happy with what he saw. He saw that there was some differences between this MRI and the, la and the previous one. 
and he said, you know what? I'm going to send you to, it's a spine place. And, uh, get checked out and looking at everything, he said, I think you would be a good candidate for a surgery called an L lift. I was like, okay, what's an L lift? And he's like, well, what it is, is instead of cutting your back open, we go through the front and make a little incision in my abdominal area And uh, they go in through the front, removing, or not removing, they move some inner pieces around a little bit. And then they will fuse the spine in my low back. And uh, put a titanium cage around the vertebrae and then, you know, close me up. Anyways, let me rinse off. But anyways, they stabilize the back because I'm developing a condition where my uh, vertebrae in my spine in that area is going to start going through where it slips and shifts. And that is very uncomfortable. Second pass against the grain. So, I went ahead and went to my primary care doctor, um, got most of the paperwork for the spine place done. It's Saturday now. So Monday, I have an appointment with my primary care doctor because I had forgot to get the chest x-ray. So, because I had to go in for a CT scan on my back. Someone called it Dexta or whatever it is. Scan to make sure that my bones were healthy enough to do the type of procedure they want to do, so. So, Monday I'll get the chest x-ray done and, I mean, I went in yesterday and got my chest x-ray, so. They put stat on it, so. 
or the doctors did, so they get it back. They said they'll get it tomorrow, which was today that they got it sent over to them. Okay, go and rinse off and then see if I got any little touch ups to do. So, yeah, um, just oh, a little spot of soap right there. One sec, guys. There we go. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully, go ahead and hit with the Allen, Allen block. So, hopefully, um, this surgery fixes me up where I won't be needing to take any pain pills or not as many. Because that is my goal. I hate taking pain pills, but when you have a bad back, sometimes it's inevitable. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rinse off, shave my head, and I'll be back. Well, guys, that was a pretty good shave. Uh, oh, I missed a little spot right there. I'll take care of well, it. I'll take care of it later um, in a minute. But anyways, um, my cheeks are good. Yeah, I missed a little bit right there, too. Darn it. Anyways, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, I just knocked it off with the leaf. Um... There we go. But, uh, anyways, let's take a look at what I used real quick. The razor was Phoenix Arson Accoutrements, or PAA, uh, Symmetry Open Comb. The blade was a Gillette Silver Blue on its third use. The brush, PAA's Peregrino, with a 24 millimeter Roswell Sense, not the same gray Roswell synth knot that's in the um, Starcraft. The soap was PAA's Irma Shave, which you cannot get anymore. And the lather bowl was my black and silver lather bowl I got from my brother. I have no idea who made it, but it's cool. Anyways, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's get the aftershave or post shave stuff going almost out of witch hazel we're gonna need a new bottle Shaved my head with the Leaf Triple Blade Razor with three half silver, Gillette Silver Blues in it. And they're also on their third use. Alright. Shaving balm. Not being picky here. Yeah, let's use this one. Whatever that one is, I'm not sure. too much but oh well dry my hands real quick but yeah we had some cold snaps going through here starting not long after I did that last video my first shave of 2024 and they just they they were just murder on my back and the aftershave uncle john's finn mccool really love this stuff it's really soothing after a rough shave too There's been times when I've had a bit of a rough shave and instead of 
going with the ever whatever aftershave I picked out I went ahead and went in my room and grabbed this but I really like the scent too it's a really good one and it's a witch hazel base splash so if your shades are rough then you know with that you can go ahead and you don't get that alcohol sting which I have to admit I really like that sting but you know some people may not anyways that is the shave thank you everyone for joining me thank you everybody that has stuck by thank you to the new subscribers and I hope to see you all here again real soon on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.